Hello everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss top Tableau questions along with their best answer to help you stand out in your next interview. Before starting this video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for upcoming and interesting videos. So without wasting any further time, let's move to the questions. So first question for this video is latest Tableau version and how it is different from your current version. So this question can be asked in other way is like in your current project, which Tableau version are you using? You, you should know about your current version and what are the features that were introduced in that version. Okay. And if you answer this, then next question might come like, what's the latest version of the Tableau and how it is different from your current version. Okay. So you should know what are the latest version and and what are the features introduced in the latest version of the tableau okay so how you can check what is your latest version you can go to help and click on about tableau you can see i'm using 24.2.2 this is my tableau desktop version okay let's say if you are using 2020 maybe 21.1 or maybe 22 so you should know what are the features available in your tableau desktop version okay so how you can check that you have to just go to the Google and type Tableau latest version feature. Okay. And you can go with this link all release. Once you click it, you will get all the releases of the Tableau with their features. Okay. If I'm talking about 24.2, so it has Einstein Copilot for Tableau web authoring for Tableau prep and it has embedded component it has these extensions okay and let's say if you are working on 22.3 okay so what are the features that tableau introduced in 2022.3 that is dynamic zone visibility table extensions data guide so you should know about this okay and the second question and very important and commonly asked question is types of connections available in the tableau this question might be asked in other way is like what is the difference between live and extract okay so both questions are same just in the connections we have two type that is live and extract sometimes interview directly asks what is the difference between live and extract okay so live is basically directly working with the data sets any update to the data set will be directly reflected to our dashboard okay it is it takes time as we are directly fetching out the data okay and we are working on the whole data set okay extract is basically working on a small subset of the data it is faster because we are working on a sub small subset of the data. Okay. Third question is difference between join and data blend. This part is one of the important and most commonly asked question join versus data blending or relationship versus data blending or might be join versus relationship or the data blending. Okay. So you should know all three concepts so that one part your will be clear in your interview okay so if i talk about join and data blending what join will do is join is used to connect the data from a single data source and it will merge the data into a single table okay data blending is used to connect the data from the different data sources it doesn't merge the data into a single table it keeps the data separated okay that's the main difference between join and data blending difference between relationship and data blending relationship is also an one of the important topic of the tableau interview okay so how you can differentiate between them relationship and the data blending both are used to connect the data from multiple data sources but what's the difference between them we cannot publish data blending to the tableau server okay but we can publish relationship with the tableau server okay and if you are using published data source that is published on tableau server for this we can only use data blending for this neither join no relationship will work okay that's the main difference and the logical difference between relationship and data blending and one more also in relationship we can define the cardinality that is one to one one to many many to one okay but but in data blending it will only work with the one to one relationship okay next question is what's the difference between logical and physical layer this is also related to join and relationship on the logical layer we perform relationship and on the physical layer we create joins on the logical layer we create logical table and on on this we create physical table okay or we can say that physical layer is a subset of logical layer okay for more information you can 
check out this article how relationship and join works and what's the difference between logical and physical layer i'll provide the link in the description box okay next question is what is context filter and what are the limitation of context filter so this is again a very common question in every interview whenever we change a filter to a context filter tabli automatically create a temporary table out of it okay and all other table present in the view work based on the result of that temporary table or the result of context so this is how context filter work and it is represented by gray color what are the limitation of context filter so let's say you are having three to four context filter in your dashboard okay and you need to change every time to to filter out the data and to see the exact requirement okay so whenever you change the value in the context filter tableau creates a temporary table then other filter will work based on that so this is kind of a repetitive work and it will hamper the performance of the dashboard so it is not recommended to use the context filter whenever we need to change the value of the filter frequently okay so that's a limitation of context filter next question is what is dimension and measure so this is again very important and yet very simple question so dimensions are basically qualitative in nature let's say city name or product name customer name so these are qualitative in nature and what is measure measure r which is quantitative in nature let's say sales discount profit margin so these are measure based on that you will get some question like what is what is continuous measure what is discrete measure or what is continuous dimension or what is discrete dimension okay so continuous is basically which are continuous in nature and which make a unbreakable chain kind of something and discrete is basically which are distinct in nature okay so if i give you an example so if i go to sheet so these all are dimension these all are measures okay and continuous values are represented by green color and discrete values are represented by blue color okay as you can see all these are blue value and all these are green value so mean these are continuous these are discrete value but we can change it to continuous as well as well as discrete when we click on it if we want to change it to measures we can change it okay if i change it to measures you can see now it is changed as a measure and it is become a continuous value okay if you want to change it to discrete i can change it to discrete you can see the color has changed so this is how you can differentiate between them okay next question is what are the actions in the tableau so actions are basically special type of functionality available in the tableau that is used to enhance the performance or or used special kind of treatment let's say you have a sheet and you want to use that sheet as a filter for this we use actions so there are multiple type of actions available in the tableau that are filter action highlight action go to sheet go to url parameter action and set action okay how to use the action so for this you can go to dashboard go to actions okay and from here you will get a pop up and now you can use add action so you can use these action these are available actions in the tableau okay so you should know what's the use of filter action what is the use of highlight go to url go to sheet change parameter and change set value okay so you should know all of about this next question is what is group why it is different from sets i think i have made a mistake from why i have written may, what okay so group is basically used to combine the data from a single field okay let's say we have a country field and we have multiple countries like country a b and c and we need to divide that country and create a region from that okay for this kind of requirement we use groups and groups are static okay and sets are static as well as dynamic set is used to find out the subset of the data based on custom condition okay so in the group we can just use that based on a specific field and we are using that static value from a single field we are manually dividing them into into multiple regions and creating their groups okay but in the sets we can define some condition okay the condition is like that 
we need to divide all the countries based on the region whose sales is greater than 2000 that's condition for the first reason and then second for that whose sale is greater than 5000 and same for other as well so based on this condition we can divide the sets okay so that's the difference between sets and group next question is how to optimize the dashboard or this question can be asked how to increase the performance of the dashboard okay so this is again like if you are going for the interview one question that for sure you need to answer that is this question okay this is fixed in every interview so you should know what are the techniques used to optimize the dashboard or to increase the performance of the dashboard okay so let me just give you an idea and summarize is let's say if i talk about the data sources so let's say you are using a data set which is having a data of five years okay but in the tableau you are just using the data of three years okay so what you can do is you can just load the data of the three years in the tableau so that we can emulate the rows of these two years okay and in these three years of the data let's say in the data set we have let's say 10 fields okay but in tableau we just require that five columns out of 10 so what we can do is we can create a view and just add the five columns in that view and load that view in our tableau so that we can eliminate the extra data okay this will boost up our performance let's say we are using some calculation which are complicated okay so instead of doing in the tableau we can do it in our backend side so that tableau doesn't require to load the data and create the calculation and take the time so it will just load the data into tableau okay it will speed up the performance and always focus on the aggregation of the data as well let's say in the dashboard you are showing the data at the monthly level or maybe yearly level but at the data source you you can see the data is available at the daily basis so what you can do is you can aggregate the data up to monthly or yearly level so that it will take less memory as well as tableau performance will be fast okay so that's from the data side if i talk about tableau side you can apply a data source filter or you can use extract to minimize the size of the data set okay you can apply all the kind of functionality let's say you are you have created a dashboard which has like multiple worksheets always hide all the worksheets okay which are used in the dashboard and un and delete the unused worksheet always hide the fields that are that are unused in our dashboard okay and focus on the charts and focus on the calculation optimization as well so by using all of these things you can answer like that okay next question is what are the lod's in the tableau explain it with example so this is again very important question this is also uh, you are going to face if you are going for tableau interview lod is basically a level of details okay which is used to find out the data at the different level okay so there are three types of lod that is fix second is include third is exclude okay i'm not going into the deeper of that if you want to know more about it you can just go and check out this article you will find uh, all the details about fixed lod include lod exclude lod i'm just giving you summarize of things like fixed lod is used to calculate the value that are present in the expression and ignore all the fields that are present in the view okay and include lod is used to find out the value based on the fields that are present in the expression as well as present in the view okay and exclude is opposite to include okay which is least used lod so you should know all of these about this and you can read all things about here okay next question is how to implement rls or based on this it can be asked what are the user functions and how we can user function to implement rls okay so rls is basically row level security row level security is used to allows us to provide the restriction and to show specific views to the specific users okay how we can implement row level security for this i have already uploaded a video on my youtube channel so you can check out this okay this video how to implement row level security i will provide the link 
of this video in the description box okay next question is what is the order of operation order of operation is basically in which order the filters are applied so order of operation is extract filter then data source filter then context filter then dimension filter then measure filter then table calculation filter okay this is the order of operation of filter in the tab view okay next question is have you used advanced charts if yes explain the use case of it this is also like very common question in every interview so you sh you should know at least one or two three that is totally depend upon you advanced chart and how to create it so one of the easiest you can uh, focus is the donor chart donor chart is widely used so you can create donor chart and explain the use case of it okay based on if you say donor chart so the question might come what's the difference between pie chart and the donor chart okay so you should know what's the difference between them so you can explain to maybe one or two or three advanced chart based on your experience okay next question is how to find top five and the bottom five product with sales or this question can be asked this how to find top 1 to 10 top 11 to 20 and other customer on pie chart okay to solve top 5 and the bottom 5 product with sales problem there are four approaches by which you can solve this problem i have already created a video on it you can check out this video on my youtube channel so by by using this you will get to know all the approaches okay and second is how to find top 1 to 10 top 11 to 20 and other customer on pie chart for this also i have created the video you can go and check out this video okay how to show pie chart top 11, 1 to 10 this is very important question and this was asked to me in deloitte interview as well as in ey interview okay this is very important question next question is how to swap the sheet this is also again i have uploaded a video by using this there are two method there are exactly three methods that i've used to explain the how to we can swap the sheets okay next question is how to find rolling and quarter months weeks and days this is again very important time intelligence question okay so the question could be asked to find last week sales or maybe last quarter last month last day or maybe last rolling 12 months sales year of years or maybe mom so this kind of question you can expect at least one question in interview okay so this is important to check your knowledge so i have explained this question in my playlist you can check out three four or five three four or six part to find out this question okay next question is how to find subtotal of specific field so this is let's say you have multiple measures and we are showing the total of that but user want to see only just for one or two and hide the subtotal for others so how we can do that so i have explained this question in the video i will provide the link of all of this video in the description box how to highlight min max value in a table min max let's say we have a data of five years and for this we have categories and we need to find out the min and max value in the table so for this how we can solve that for this i have explained this question in in the part one i will provide the link of this video in the description box okay how to replace z blank with the zero this is also very important question again i have explained this question in the part one you can check out this in the part one okay so these are the most important 20 questions that you should know when you are going for the tableau interviews okay apart from this you can check out the playlist on my youtube channel i have added three playlists one is tableau interview question for theory based tableau scenario based question interviews and tableau scenario based question for product based company okay for more questions you can check out my interview experience series as well i think if you cover all of these you will definitely clear every tableau interview okay that's it for this video. Thank you so much, guys. If you like the video, please do like, share, and subscribe, and stay tuned for upcoming videos.